Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back oh, to another vlog. Oh my gosh, it feels like so long since I vlogged. I mean it has been a really long time hasn't it? I'm not going to babble on for ages so I know I do love a babble but hi. Welcome back, hope you're all doing well. For those of you that haven't seen um, my latest video, I will leave a link to it up in the corner um, but it will make much more sense what I'm about to say if you watch that video first but I'm basically today going into London for the first time since I think it was either September or October last year, I think September. And basically I'm going into London today for a wig fitting, which I'm really excited about. And I'm also getting some photos taken outside the Barbican. Um, but I'll tell you more about it all later, but I'm gonna take you along for the day. I'm gonna try and vlog as much as I can. I may not be able to film the actual fitting just due to, you know, the privacy and like keeping the secrets of the show and all that good stuff. But I'll update you as much as I can as I go along. And I'll chat to you about it all a bit more later because I'm gonna miss my train if I keep chatting. Excited to go back into London, a little bit nervous. Um, but you know, we're taking baby steps. Outfit's not very exciting. I just had to wear black um, and it keeps raining and I was like, I can't be bothered to <laughs> wear something nice. Um, but put makeup on for the first time in a while, which was interesting. Um, probably haven't blended it very well if I'm honest because I rushed that too. Right, I'm gonna go now. I'll speak to you in a bit. I've made it to London. Woo! It absolutely chucked it down a minute ago. So I'm just keeping my umbrella up and hoping that that doesn't happen again. Oh my gosh, look at my hair. And you can see St Paul's Cathedral, which is my absolute favourite building. Beautiful. Um, and yeah, now I'm just going to go travel to the Barbican. Walking. This will be my route every day that I do, which I'm just like scoping out, you know? It's actually really nice. And it's not raining for a bit, so I'm going to take in the scenery. <sighs> Trying to also plan what I'm going to have to eat. Uh, so many options, so much choice. Oh, my sat nav's telling me to go somewhere, right? Better concentrate. Oh, I've got to take some stairs. Okay. <laughs> Wig fitting. We got rained out. I just got completely and utterly drenched trying to take some photos outside the theatre. Um, so I'll chat to you a bit more when I get back. So I'm gonna try and get back ASAP because this weather's just kind of killing my killing my vibe. <laughs> um, but yeah, had a really good wig fitting. Um, and now yeah, I'm gonna walk back. Guys, I've no joke been like calamity bloody Jane today. Keep bashing into things, tripping over. The sun's finally come out though. So beautiful around here. That's a big building. <laughs> well, the sun came out for all of about five minutes uh, and it's raining again. And I feel like this whole vlog is just me basically telling you that it's raining and walking around London. Um, that's pretty much all that's happened really. So I have my wig fitting, which we'll chat to you a bit more about later. And then I had a little, had some photos taken outside the Barbican, which was absolute comedy gold. It was really, really good, but we, we had a bit of a drama with my umbrella and also the weather was just awful so we had to stop um that was really lovely i'm so hungry so i'm gonna see if there's any food near my station i'm home i'm home after my little adventure my mini adventure into london oh my gosh <laughs> first of all 
my I mean look at my hair it's so frizzy now got a little bit caught in the rain I mean it was literally impossible to vlog because the wind the rain it was insane it just it's like there was, there was probably about five minutes where it was beautiful sunshine for the rest of the time it was torrential torrential um so that was fun <laughs> because as well as get, having my wig fitting i was also getting some photos taken outside of the theater after i had my wig fitting i wish i'd filmed a little bit more of it it was so funny at one point we were filming and we I popped our bags down on my umbrella and we were filming by these beautiful fountains outside the barbican at filming taking photos and my umbrella just blew into the water and all you saw was this duck go <laughs> what noise was that <laughs> and just like flapping its wings and like running out of the water um so i really felt bad about that and then i had to go down on my tummy and fish my umbrella out of the water which was interesting um <laughs> So we caused quite a scene. But yeah, it was really, really lovely. I got to meet the lovely Liz. Um, I will link her Instagram in uh, the description box. She takes the most beautiful photos. Um, and we, we took a few photos before, well, actually mid-rain. And then it stopped for a little bit, but then it it just got loads worse. So we kind of had to cut it short a little bit, but it was so, so lovely. And before that, I went actually into the Barbican. Ow. <laughs> I went backstage. Um, and had a wig fitting, which was so fun. I didn't film it because, I don't know, I like I don't like to sort of like shove cameras in people's faces if they're not prepared for it or like wanting it. Um, so I didn't film it, I took a little picture, which I'll pop on the screen now, which is me in full sellotaped head cast. <laughs> Basically what happens when you are getting fitted for a wig. So for this show, we'll all be wearing wigs. Um, some shows you don't, but for this one we will. Apparently we've got three wigs, which is really cool. Um, because I haven't had like wig changes in a show for a while. Um, so that'll be really nice. I'm excited. I'm really excited to see them. Basically what happens is you get your hair put in pin curls. Um, and then you kind of get like, you get a bit of like cling film put over your head and then loads of sellotape. It's basically to make like a mock-up of the shape of your head so that they know. So it's kind of like to form the wig around like that shape so that it fits your head basically. Um, so you kind of just sit there having lots of sellotape put on your head for a while, which feels weird. Um, and then you get like kind of your head drawn on, not your actual head, on the sellotape, drawn on. I think that was everything. Then um, it, it comes off and it's like a little hat that's the shape of your head. And apparently I have a nice shaped head, which I always thought I had a really big head. So it's quite nice to hear. Um, but yeah, so that will then go off. And yeah, my wigs will be made. I have no idea what they're going to look like, but I'm really, really excited. And it was so lovely to catch up with Mark, um, who was doing the wig fitting. He is just so lovely. And it was nice to have a little catch up. And it was nice to just be back out seeing people. I must admit, I was like, like I said, I think I, I've tried to vlog when it wasn't raining, um, but it was really difficult. I think my lipstick's all smudged around my face. I had a falafel wrap on the train on the way back. Such a good falafel wrap. Oh my gosh. I love it when you get those like, freshly made falafel wraps and this one was really really good sorry that i didn't get to share a little bit more with you i was i was hoping to vlog quite a lot more but the weather just ruined it <laughs> but i'm gonna leave the vlog here for today um i hope you're all doing well i hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> seeing me just sort of gallivanting around london with an umbrella basically for the whole thing <laughs> oh my gosh as well does anyone else as soon as they get in just immediately put comfy clothes on. I, as soon as I got in, I put my comfies on, got my slippers on. I was like, yeah, get the jeans off. That was my first time wearing jeans in a while, actually. Hmm. What a milestone moment. <laughs> anyway, right, I'm going to go. Hope you're all doing okay. And I'll see you soon.